I got bit by something. This is tragic. <laughs> it's really red and swollen too. Oh my gosh, that's very unattractive. Okay, well, hello, hello. Oh snap, people are actually, I'm shocked. <laughs> Even if it's four people, I'm actually shocked. Somebody said, blink! <laughs> hey, Emmy. Whoa. Okay, now, I expect people to tune in for the K-pop stuff. I don't expect people to show up for me talking about my own stuff. This is wild. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm flattered. This is very sweet of you. Okay. Well, um, as you can see, I'm genuinely shocked. Because I really didn't. <laughs> Girl, yes, blink, yes, long time, no see. <laughs> yeah, I know it's been like a whole, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> um, this is very unexpected. Thank you all so much for your support for my little my little projects um, here and there. This is exciting for me. And it's a little bit... Um, it's a little bit uncomfortable because I'm very well versed at speaking about the stuff that you all know me for, for K-pop. But talking about my own music, this is weird to me. Um, I'm dropping stuff. <laughs> Hi, Periscope wasn't working for me during the shiny sessions, but I'm here for this. This is cool. Thank you. I hope you can go back and watch the, the shiny stuff. Okay. So... <laughs> Let me give you a little bit of history. It's you. The K-pop stuff is just the thing you deliver. Oh, don't be that way, don't say. Oh my gosh, almost. Um, I, growing up in Detroit, <clears throat> I wanted to be a DJ. I love house music. It's something about that thing, 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 that just never ends. That was just perfect for me. It, it puts you in this really, really dope mindset. Hello from Dallas. Hello there. So, um... I used to get catalogs to be able to get information about turntables and all that stuff. And it used to make my dad, who is a chemical engineer, really look at me sideways. But my mom, God rest her soul, was very supportive of my idiosyncrasies. That's not even the proper way of saying it. Idiosy idiosyncratic moments. There we go. <laughs> and um, I never did get the chance to do it all of that information and say that I never got the chance to do it. Never touched anything else. Went into studios, recorded my vocals on things for backtracking and things of that sort. Um, when I lived in LA, um, no, I don't aspire to be a singer. I enjoy being behind the scenes. Okay. I run my business heavily off of Google platforms and Apple. So uh, my, my vocals, thank you. When I decide to sing from time to time, <laughs> um, <clears throat> So on an iPad, there is GarageBand. GarageBand is used by pros as well as novices like myself and everything in between to tinker and play around with loops and whatnot. So the first album that I made in last year, which was a few months ago, was called Introducing Miss Blink. Uh, Blink is not a new name. I know Blink is new for K-pop because it's the name of Black uh, Blackpink's fandom. But this has been my nickname since 1999. Every time you blink, I'm doing something. So when I became a legal adult, uh, I changed it from Blink to Miss Blink. That's all. But um, a lot of people still call me Blink back from Detroit and things of that sort. So introducing Miss Blink was my introduction as tinkering with music. And I put together 10 tracks that go in all kinds of directions. There's no real vibe for it, which is why a track on their phone call is just me talking to one of my friends about what I was doing. 99, that was the year, man. That was a dope year. <laughs> but um, it didn't intend on this turning into something bigger than what it has. I literally started making music on a plane June of last year. Um, the very first track I made, it sounds so weird. The very first track I made is named after my birthday. It's called 0501. And I used to have a playlist that was live on my YouTube channel. It's now not live. Um, but that was the very first song I made. And it sounds like this. It's just four loops. You've heard it in videos. You hear it in all of the Megwala hangout and Periscope teasers. <laughs> Somebody said, this is my fave! <laughs> Ooh. 
So it's very simple. I did not make anything there. <laughs> I'm glad you still use it on your radio show. I didn't create anything there. All I did was grab the samples. And that is all that music is. You grab loops, you grab samples, you create them, and you uh, make sure you're not doing it illegally. But um, it got to a point over months and months where I needed to actually make a project that was a little bit more ambitious. There will be another project this year coming out, and it will be a compilation. I have... Um, some other YouTubers that you all know or have heard of who will be on there and then some singers who I admire who are singing on some of my, my music and singing some of the lyrics I made. But um, Spectrum was different. Spectrum was, uh, was very different. Um, the six songs on there are actually a story of a chunk of time for me that was relatively difficult. And a spectrum is a view. It's a range of things. Um, I remember that collab tweet just out. out. <laughs> I don't know if the collab has been uploaded yet, but you all will enjoy it, I promise you. Um, and she features a lot of my music too. My big sister is, is very very supportive of, of my channel and my creative endeavors. And, and likewise, we are each other's biggest fans. Um, so you do hear a lot of my music on her channel too, as well as some other really dope artists. But with Spectrum, um, I write poetry. I write a lot of poetry. Um, it used to be that and dance used to be the only way I could deal with a, a lot of stressors. And I tried to convey a lot in Spectrum that I couldn't verbally say. Um, some of you might know that I am in school. I don't talk about it too much, but occasionally if you've watched vlogs and things of that sort, or you keep up with me on Twitter or on Facebook and things of that sort. I, from time to time, talk about school. Uh, I have one degree. I have an associate's degree in liberal arts, and then I have a lot of certifications, and I am four and a half months away, technically five, from completing my bachelor's degree. I've been working on this for 14 years, 14 years. And uh, a lot of things have happened, thank you, a lot of things have happened in the course of 14 years to delay the process and, and all of that. And um, last semester, I almost got myself kicked out of school. I was doing very, very well in a class and then I bombed a final and the previous course before that I didn't do so well in, but the grade was passing, but I almost got myself kicked out of school. And when you are so close to trying to accomplish a goal and it almost gets snatched from you from a very simple error that if the professor was a little bit more understanding, I would have been able to fix very quickly. It was detrimental. So I was very, very stressed with that. Um, I had a previous daytime job because yes, although I own a company and I am a writer, I still have to make ends meet. So I worked for a company that was writing fraudulent checks. So my income was stagnant and uh, I had just gotten on board with a new company and trying to get acclimated to their company culture was stressful. I don't date often. But um, I was in a very, very rough space with my significant other and it didn't quite turn out the way that I thought it would. That doesn't make me sad. It just added to the story. Um, and then I was having issues with my health. I have iron deficiency anemia and I wasn't taking very good care of myself and I didn't realize what was happening. And um, I just, I wasn't myself. I wasn't myself at all. So uh, on top of all of that, uh, a friendship of over 15 years came to a very abrupt end. And you have a lot of those things that you just have to mourn all at once. It was very difficult. So I tried to take all of that and my hopes for for this year and the stresses of last year, not even just the personal ones, the ones that affect us all with our new president, and tried to put it into music. So, Spectrum, we're going to go through the songs, but I would like to also show you how they have been composed, which to my knowledge, I don't think a lot of people actually get to see how songs are put together. If you look at my garage band, um, you'll see that there are... <clears throat> new president is terrible. Yeah... 
that he is. <laughs> but um, what you'll see is there's a lot of songs that still don't have a name because I'm not I'm not done with them. I'm still working. Um, but you'll see a lot of tracks. And these this isn't even everything. Some things have been uploaded and taken off. Some things have been kept. Um, but this is this is my this is my musical poetry now. This is my musical poetry. Uh, I like that you have a passion. I'm I'm blessed and burdened by it. <laughs> production layer. It is a bit of a production layer. Um, I tinker with things. I make filler music to go on my videos. Um, I make things when I'm angry. I make things when I'm happy. Some things I can't legally upload because the samples have appeared in much larger music. So it's illegal. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's interesting. So the first song... The first song and the last song on Spectrum are, are the most important to me. But the very first song is called The Release. Um, fanboy anticipates. <laughs> it's called The Release because um, I surrendered everything. I just, I, I let it go. There's nothing else I can, there's nothing else I can do. So why hold on to it? So um before I play it as it is, let me open up the, the track for you. So when you have a song and it appears this way, these are called stems in music production. These are the actual pieces that create and orchestrate your song. Uh, the release was made with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different uh, stems. Some of them are strings. I have a uh, a bass, a cello. Uh, first and second violin. Um, there's sound effects and there's a synthesizer. I really enjoy dance and EDM types of music. Is this what I do for a living? It is not. This is what I do for stress relief. This is what I do to contribute to my uh, my YouTube videos to have my own music. And I just like to upload it to SoundCloud and just see how people feel about it. Um, I don't I don't intend on being a music producer for lack of better terms. I just enjoy doing this. Um, so, yeah, when you have it all laid out the way that you need, this literally paces the track. You can see what starts first, what comes next, and you can edit as you go. Um, some of the songs on Spectrum, particularly white, is really, really loud. But that's because I edited the volume over here for different areas as you'll see on this one everything is very balanced I needed it to I needed it to feel a certain way I needed it to feel warm and reflective um, when you are working with your stems they appear in this manner they just look like little dots on a grid are you happy I am tremendously happy <laughs> I'm tremendously happy so you have various portions that's a EDM noise. Um, you have the. They are shaved. I just get stubble really quickly. I shave every single day, unfortunately. Hairy lady. Um, also, the strings are here. So you basically piece those things together and um, create your concepts. So the way that I compose is I first find my beat. I always look for my beat first. And then from there, I start layering it in the way that the song will flow. This is the first portion. This is the second, so on and so forth. Um, the intro to the song is actually reversed. One thing that you'll hear a lot in my music is I like to reverse a lot of sound bites. So... Um, the original, the original setting of this sounds like this. That's the original setting of it, which is a, a Chinese instrumentation. I do use a lot of it. It is the, uh, the name of it specifically is the Guzang, G-U-Z-H-E-N-G. But to introduce the song, I reversed it.
So that's what it sounds as the beginning of the song. And now I will play it for you. <laughs> I usually do get a little choked up on this song. <laughs> My mind is made up. I packed up every single feeling, let it outside the door. I will never get you to be more than what you've clearly shown me. I've known it a long time ago. It was a lot in it, so never set the lyrics to it. I will give them to somebody to properly sing on the compilation. And yes, this is Garage Band. Do you think the sound of lyrics makes the song? You have to choose. Do you think sound or lyrics make the song? Sound does. Sound. Sound can convey emotions you can't. The introduction of this song is literally my release. So, that conveys what the lyrics would be. So I just say, I let it go. song why do you who do you have in mind I will not say because if I get the person who I intend it'll be really great when this gets re-released on uh, the compilation and you won't get to hear who sings it <laughs> so spectrum the name of the the EP is also the name of the second song uh, spectrum was a song I took five months to work on because I kept screwing up <laughs> I kept screwing up so um, the thing that I started off with, with Spectrum, was this, uh, this sample right here. I said in reverse. She won't be on this. My sister is more than likely asleep right now. <laughs> um... But yeah, I reversed it and was like, what can I do with that? Again, I told you all that I usually start off with the beat. That did not happen with this. I fell in love with the, those strings. I don't, I don't. I didn't know what to do with it. And it's not a long sample. It's a very, very short one. Um, that instrument is also a Chinese instrument. Um, same one. <laughs> I meant in the release. Oh, no, no. Jessica's not saying it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you would have to threaten her life for her to do that. She is not all about that. But yes, I had an old Asian movie feel for this. And um, I'm like, okay, well, let me find a beat that works. So this is a simple hip-hop beat, a very, very simple hip-hop beat. 
but I didn't like it on its own. I had to find something else to pair with it. So I found another hip hop beat and I slowed down the tempo tremendously because if it was at its original tempo, that's the original tempo. So I slowed it down and I put the two together. Hold on. To make it sound the right way, we need to press them at the same time. So when it's heard in headphones, it makes it much more, uh, much more dense. It delivers differently. So we'll play this because all of these stems mean nothing. Plus, my favorite part in this is the sound effects that I added. Um, I don't have very good production skills. Again, this is just garage band and me tinkering. So there was a moment where the speaker was much too loud at the transition. So I had to change it by... Um, by putting a sound effect on it. So I'm going to play that part for you without the sound effect. This is a symbol for the sound effect. So I'm going to turn the sound effect off and then I'm going to play that part so you can hear it without it. And it goes, and it's just not attractive. That's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound good. That sounds like I hit a button by mistake and left it on the track. Didn't want that. So I got rid of it as best as I could and um, put a sound effect on it. I also, let's see, is this it? Yeah. I also went back in because the song didn't have a synthesizer at all. And I added one to it to give it a little bit of undertone. Otherwise, the song is very hollow. So this is what I did to go back in. This is how the song started at first. This is what the song would have sounded like. But that wasn't enough. So I'll play for you the full one now. There's no lyrics to Spectrum whatsoever. It stands alone. because I'm sweating. That's why I got this big third eye right here. Sweat's killing me. Messing my hair up too. I keep moving it and it keeps swelling. Look at this. It ain't supposed to be like this in the back. 
Oh, <sighs> but it's all my hair. Y'all know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the song after that is called Blue. I'm in love with the Asian influence. Thank you very much. Um, the reason for that, the reason why there's a lot of, uh, of Eastern instrumentation in it is because I, I long to go back. No, I don't want to change who I am or anything. That's absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. I love who and what I am. But there was a, a world of exploration for me over there. And I was also editing all of my South Korean videos while I was working on this album. <laughs> so it was a world of exploration over there for me that is nothing comparable to what I experience here. So this at least gives me a tie-in to that to some degree. Um, the next song is called Blue. I made Blue last summer and it went on my YouTube channel uh, in a color series. It was it was a series of, of colors, which is also how this evolved into Spectrum. I have named a whole bunch of songs after the primary colors. You understand how I feel. Yes, I do understand. <laughs> so um, Blue really had no purpose. But the thing with Blue is I went on a frenzy. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine instruments sampled in it. But what I want you to see is not all of this blue. And that's also how the song got the name because that is a crap load of blue lines. Um, I want you to see this little green right here. That's a bass guitar. When you listen to the song without that bass guitar in there, it gets to a part and it goes doom, 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 and it just stops. It hollows out because my production skills aren't so good. So you you don't you don't hear it. It it pulls the note away. So I had to find the right key manually and add it. And now after you hear it, it sounds like that instrument is there the whole time. I only put it there one point. So I'm gonna mute it and go to that part of the song so you can hear. It's gonna be hard since you don't have on headphones here, but if I uploaded this with this muted, it would just sound like hollowed out space there. This big gap right there means that instruments are missing, but I filled in the noise with one cue, one little bass line, and now your brain thinks it's there the whole time. God, now I'm inspired to actually drag out GarageBand and actually make my music. Go for it, please try. Okay. Okay, so it's very faint. You can barely hear it because it's not really there. But when I add that, that bass to there, can't hear it through a periscope, but I charge you to take some headphones and listen to Blue on uh, SoundCloud and listen to that part. And it's going to go doom, 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 doom. It's really loud in one little spot just so it could sound correct. Um, this is another song that I started with the beat first, much like I usually do, and found something later. So this was the beat I initially had. I'm like, okay. I'm kind of feeling it, but that wasn't enough. I had to add something. So I added another drum kit to it. So that ended up being the bass. And at the time when I made Blue, I had no songs that had piano anywhere in it. So um, I looked around for some piano samples. I play piano by ear. So I don't have the dexterity to actually play at a good pace. So I took uh, one of the loops. I sped it up a little bit individually. And then I added another loop to it. And then this one at the bottom. So that allowed me to make a simple instrument sound so much more full than what I originally started with and um, just give more character to it. One of my favorite loops in here is this one. Just not, not I'm sorry, that's the wrong button. <laughs> that little... Ch Instead of using a metronome, the little... That's how I kept the count for the song. So this is Blue. Blue is another song without lyrics. <laughs>
it doesn't stay like this. Much how we learned about in Shiny, how it's a takeoff into the chorus, we're taking off. <laughs> Thank you for loving it. instrument that you all need to hear when you have the headphones and you listen to this it sounds totally different um actually not nah, we're just gonna play it you'll just hear it you got headphones you can listen later but it makes the song go do 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 that's not how the loop actually works it's just the way that your brain and your ear process this the way that i layered the song it makes you think that there's an extra note there and it's not song is white I don't know why I named it white that's really not that's really not what it symbolizes at all um white really I had nothing for it I had this beat that I like and then I had this strange uh this strange loop this I don't know why I liked it so much but um so I had that, and then I had this beat. Hopefully, this is the right button. <laughs> where's the Where's the beat? We might as well explore all of the little streams then, if that's the case. So there's some some sick loops in here, obviously. I'm trying to find the beat. Maybe white could symbolize a blank canvas and you just painted music onto it. Once I tell you what white is about, you might take that back. Or it could have been just my mind going blank from being pissed off. Um, Here's the beat. That's the beat. White hot anger. You know what? That probably is what it is. <laughs> I made white <laughs> I made white after I went out with a guy and we'd been going out for a while and somebody asked who I was and he introduced me as his friend and it just it set me off so damn badly it's like 
here we are sitting, laughing, having drinks, taking selfies at the bar until somebody comes up and asks a pertinent question and, and you decide that you're going to flake on the answer and look at me and grin and look back at them and say, you just a friend. And I'm like, oh, he said, I'm just a friend. Oh, well, here we go again. And I just can't let my feelings get invested. So, like... You called me your friend. We've been together for like nine damn months at this point. What do you mean I'm your friend? You are out your mind. So, yes, I got Biz Marquee, who's on some other shit. So, let's listen to White while I relive this crap. <laughs> got one more thereafter but the next song is called Machiavellian if you don't know what Machiavellian is it is named after Niccolo Machiavelli um Machiavellianism is one of the 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 dark psychosis and it's about being cunning scheming um all the negative things and uh this is a two-parter in terms of influence there's definitely no lyrics to this I was watching Jessica Jones on Netflix I really don't like it that much but I was watching it and one of the characters was just being so deeply 
manipulative <laughs> and he got out of an area that he was confined in. Honestly, truly iconic scamming <laughs> Joanne. But um they were being so manipulative and they managed to get themselves out of a, a bad situation and instead of being merciful, they set the room on fire with someone in it and they were walking in slow motion and I'm not joking I was playing around watching the episode and I had headphones in and um where is it I need to find it be sure I got it nope trying to find my sample y'all cause it's the one that was this was playing and they were walking in slow motion and it was perfectly synced and I'm like that's dope as hell so I had that plan, and this is absolutely much faster, but when you add this beat to it, it slows it down. So I rewound it and had the person like walk into it. I'm like, you got something. I don't know what you got, but you got something. All the while I was sitting there making this song while I was sitting there with the person who called me their friend. So <laughs> um I was feeling some type of way. This was probably within 24 hours of being called their friend. So I was still in my fields. I'm not the type to be like, hey, is everything okay? And I'd be like, I'm fine. But I'm looking at you like this. I don't do that. If I really don't feel good about something, I'm going to tell you. So uh, he didn't ask. So I didn't talk. I let my music speak for me. So um, no, I didn't do anything cunning or scheming. I did not cheat or anything of the sort. Uh, I just started planning my emotional descent from the relationship. So this is the song for that. Burns his house like the show. Nah, kid, we don't do that jail. I don't want to, but in my mind. In my mind. <laughs> It's a very experimental tone to this, and she got mad creative watching dude walk away while he lit a house and fire. Yes, yeah, I got more creative than I realized. This song is dark and gritty, and I love it. And those pauses, oh! I played around with this one for a moment until it felt how I felt. Sugar King of Darkness. Oh my god, could you imagine? Or or Ban Young Cook? Took me two months to make this song. <laughs> 
<laughs> Two months, and the song is only three minutes and 27 seconds. So it's not one of the most listened to tracks on Spectrum, but it's definitely one of my favorites. But uh, the release and then this next song, Jinju, are are my most emotionally important. Um, Jinju, I ended it with a song named after me um, to show that I've come full circle. I'm back to myself. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I've, I've come full circle and uh, I can get back to being whole. So I started with uh, I started with that and I, um, I didn't have a beat. I just had that and I had that that loop for weeks and weeks and weeks and I'm like I I don't know I can't start the song with that I can't just start it with that coming in I have to have something to lead in and what it ended up being was just a simple drum real simple and in my brain what it is is I'm walking up to the point where everything is behind me so the intro to the song is me walking and then the music comes and I'm just taking a look at everything and when that string comes that's the self-realization of everything is okay all the things that you experienced over the past few months it's not the end of you it ain't the end all be all you can start over your name is pearl for a reason pearls are formed under much deep pressure they agitate oysters so in order to form and be so beautiful you have to go through some agitation so that's how it ended up being the last song some of the instruments in it are just beautiful a lot of asian instrumentation that's another guzan so that g-u-z-h-e-n-g -E that instrumentation is very very uh it's a it's a kit on this garage band and it's a lot of uh unique sounds in there. <laughs> so, woo! And I never did change the beat. I didn't add multiple beats. I kept a real simple drum kit. That's it the whole time. So the last song of the EP, Jinju. There's a lot of instruments that are slowed down or reversed in here to make it sound sound more sing-songy without lyrics. So at this point, you're in here. You're in all of this. And then it just abruptly stops and then the song kind of transitions a little bit.
you. <laughs> that is spectrum. That is the past three months of my life in music form. Um, I said I would share a couple of other things with you all, like the track that I uh, gave to Alan. It's, uh, okay, this is the song you use to try to join somebody's production team, Musicality for Days. Thank you. I'm super proud of you. Thank y'all. It really means a lot to me. Um, more than you'll ever know. I want to cry and I don't, want, don't know why. It's so beautiful. Thank you. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. So this EP is very special to me. It's, uh... It's very special. It's poetry in the form of music, and I've never done that before. I usually just write. So, um, I told y'all I had something for Alan. So, Alan's going to do something. Uh, it's a real short track, but he's going to kill it. Y'all already know that. So, no, nah, this ain't right. I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to plug the speaker into this so you can hear it the way, the right way. Truly, truly inspiring and beautiful. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's see. Let's plug this in and not electrocute myself so you can hear it the right way. The way Allie heard it. He sent me a message like, yo! <laughs> He's very, him and Salvi and uh, Michael and, and a lot of the other YouTubers. Dre's heard my music, so is uh, Two Men. Like, they support it and that, that means a lot to me. All right, here we go. Yeah. I don't know what he gonna do, y'all, but I'm just... Alan follow me. I was so shook. <laughs> Alan, let me kill this. This is a beautiful design, much like you. Thank you. Oh, boy. He gonna... He's going to murder this. And then this transition, though. It's just, it just, it sounds so dope. This is a track that I made. Um, okay, I have to word this correctly so it doesn't sound crazy. This is a track I made for Zico. No, he's not going to physically have it, but there's a video that's coming up and this will be in it. Um, and he's a part of it. So don't go losing your mind like, oh my God, she making music for Zico. It's not quite that way. <laughs> it's that way, but it ain't that way at the same time. Like it's, it's just to go along with the video about him. So, um, I won't play all of it. I'll just play a snippet because I don't want to ruin it. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm like, we well, almost done. <laughs> 
gotta stop it at that part. I'm not gonna give it all away. So that is for that particular little wake up and bam, bam, dabs of this. I'm gonna share one more with you all, and then I'm gonna close this up. So um, this is the one that I I don't know if I want to say I finished it. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't I don't know if I want to say I finished it. Hold on, let me let me listen right quick. <laughs> aggressively dabbing um i'm gonna share with you something that's going to be on the the big album um this song i'm, I'm really really proud of it's 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 brassy it's funky it's loud um if you've kept up with Mac G music when I had it on YouTube then you've already heard it but if you haven't that's all right it don't hurt to hear it again it's got some real funk to it it starts off with uh um just a simple a simple uh bongo so that's one of the beats Mariah literally me <laughs> Came up with those two beats and put them together, and uh, it turned into a, a song that I just, um, I love this song. This song is called Vox, V-O-X, and Vox just, it just jams from start to finish. So this is the last song I'm going to share with you all, and then uh, that's it for the music. <laughs> Come on, take us to El Caribe. <laughs> Y'all are lit. All right, here we go. Somebody is doing something to this. I, I cannot wait to share it with y'all. songs that I've been working on and they appear from time to time in my YouTube videos and whatnot um but yeah I can't thank you all enough for just rocking with me and my growth and um hearing my music and seeing where it's transitioned where it's changed and listen to Rogaine has been <laughs> y'all are a mess I'm done with y'all um but yeah just just being around to uh hear the transitions and this is the first time I've revealed any backstory to anything I've made. It means a lot to me to be able to share that with you all. So I thank you very much for your unyielding support and um, 
I guess this is the end of the periscope. Unless you have some questions or something. I don't even know what kind of questions anybody would have. My brow pencil is on the way. I don't know what kind of questions anyone would have. But if you do, I can answer them before um, we turn this off. That's just wild. Like, y'all the first people aside from, like, my family to see just how much music is in here that I'm just messing with on a regular basis. <sighs> this was a very, very, very uh, cathartic thing. It was therapeutic. <laughs> well, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off then. Bye, y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to this. Have a good evening.